if you've seen my hand drill tutorial, you'll know that the person that taught me, Mark Olson, he really shifted my idea about hand drill from this is super difficult, probably impossible, to it's actually pretty easy. And something that I saw him using and I now use with students is chaga. Because this fungus is a really great way to get your first coal with the hand drill. It's a lot easier and if you, you know, if you do this out in the woods, the advantage is that you don't need a notch. We just drill straight down into the chaga. I'm going to show you how it works. The first thing I'm going to do is cut out a little piece of the chaga. I'll bring it up to the camera and show you what I'm doing here. I'm cutting out a piece that has a point. If you've worked with chaga before, you'll know this is an amazing fungus. It looks like it's already been burnt. And the black on the outside and then the orange on the inside, it really has that, that feeling of, of fire. Fire making is not the only thing that it's good for. This makes an amazing tea that is reported to have incredible health benefits, including being an anti-cancer. A real quick instruction on making the tea, the way I do it now after somebody uh, shared it with me, is that I use the black and the light part and boil it probably for about 20 hours and it turns into this dark black liquid, almost the color of coffee, but it has what I think is almost a vanilla scent. If you find some chaga, there's gonna be parts of it that are really, really soft. Like over here, this is really, really soft. This is great to use as a coal extender. Stuff that's really, really hard, like over here, this is a better example. This is almost like wood. It's not really great for hand drill. There's a middle ground. I can press my fingernail into it. It's fairly soft, but it's not just crumbling, crumbling away like this is. And that's the part of the chaga that you want to use for the hand drill. So I'm going to go straight into a hole that I've used before. And that's another of the beautiful things about chaga. You can use this over and over and over. Cut away a little bit and you can drill down into it again. Chaga only grows in the north. You'll find it in the northern part of North America, in Canada, I believe in Northern Europe and I know in Russia. And if it grows in your area, I highly recommend that you go out and see if you can find some. It's like treasure hunting. It grows on birch trees. It seems to especially enjoy yellow birches. And when you find it, you come home with this amazing fungus that makes a marvelous tea and is an awesome fire starter. One more. It smells good too. Pop it out. I'm going to grab that little piece that I cut out earlier. I'll show you what's going on here. So down inside, You see that? There's your coal. Now with this, I can reach down. Yeah. 
And I'm gonna try another piece. There we go. I'm just having trouble reaching in there. And as soon as it catches this one, there I have my coal. That's what you're going to put into your tinder bundle to start it. And this can go set aside because it's going to keep burning inside there. This happened when I let it go a little bit too long the other night. And so you can allow that to keep burning and you have your backup. And if this seems too small, and just break off another chunk and transfer it over. Again, I've got a small one there. I'm trying to do it with my fingers. If you use a knife, you can get as big a chunk as you want. People have even cooked on chaga. But there you go. Now, a word of warning. It really gets hot because the whole thing turns into a coal. When you have it still going in here, I'm going to spit in there to try to put it out. Better yet, if you have water, pour the water in there. Because if you don't put this out, it's going to keep burning and expanding. And I've had it happen where I'm using a smaller chunk of chaga and I, you know, finish using it, I put it out and, you know, I really tried to make sure I put it out. I put it into my pouch to, you know, with my tinder bundle and everything else for, for later on. I'm walking 10 minutes down the path and I smell smoke. Like, what? And there it is. My whole pouch is smoking. And real experience. It's because I wasn't careful about putting it out. So after I spit in there or poured water, and blow and make sure that that really is out. This really loves to hold the coal. Because chaga isn't available to everybody, you know, I have a small supply of it, but I, you know, need it for students. But this is the one that's been used for demos. And I would love to send this kit to one of the viewers. And you can try it for yourself. I'm gonna ask if you already know how to do hand drill, please don't claim it. Leave it for somebody that you know is just starting out and is gonna benefit from getting to try it on chaga. If you have chaga in your area, please leave it for someone else, someone, someone in the south, because you know, if you have it in your ecosystem, again, it's a fun treasure hunt to try to go find it. Also, I believe because plant and fungi um, have weird sh shipping laws overseas with customs that I have to keep this to audiences in the United States. I'm very sorry because I know a lot of you that are watching are overseas, but um, United States only for this. And here's how you get it. Somewhere in this video, there's something that should not be there. If you can tell me what it is, Tell me the species, and then I'll know that you've seen it. And it's a little tricky, but if you have a keen eye, you should be able to see it. So thank you for watching. If you've used chaga before, you have experience with it as a tea or a fire starter, let me know, and see you soon.